One of the beauties of skiing is the fact that we can easily participate in the sport far into our senior years. One of the integral reasons this possibility exists and has been fostered throughout Colorado can be traced directly back to Jerry Moe Mosley and the creation of the Over the Hill Gang. The Over the Hill Gang was born at Copper Mountain in 1976, courtesy of a trio of enterprising part-time PSIA ski instructors, Moe Mosley, Bill McGill, and Tom Stein. Their vision was simple, keep ski enthusiasts over the age of 50 from dropping out of the sport. I think Moe had if you want to call it a vision, but what he really saw was the trend. He saw the trend of the senior skier who was dropping out of skiing for one reason or another. And what he saw was that these people were lonely from the standpoint of no one to socialize with and to ski with as they got older. In the 1970s, Copper Mountain was blessed with a team of energetic, imaginative, and somewhat crazy entrepreneurial risk takers, just the sort of people essential to the startup of a new ski resort. Mo fit right in with a bigger than life personality and a passion for skiing that became legend. The program immediately became an integral part of Copper Mountain's ski program as the trio recruited all levels of skiers. Soon, the Over the Hill Gang, OHG International, and Ski Meisters of Winter Park became the ski and social event for all over 50 skiers. Well, Copper Mountain in the early years was like any other new ski area. It was a little bit of the Wild West. And what Mo brought was his enthusiasm, his energy, and his insight. He was a, you know, a certified PSIA instructor, always believed in PSIA, and he took that and adapted it to a new market. To ensure that their program had the credentials to be a leader in the industry, Mosley and friends developed a set of criteria to assure success for OHG. All Over the Hill Gang guides were required to be certified members of PSIA. All guides were members of the Copper Mountain Ski School, were strong skiers, and were selected to ensure that they fit in with the multifaceted OHG membership. When we started OHG, he insisted that all the instructors be certified. And we had a smaller ski school back in the 80s. And so the, the membership just exploded. And one day, Mo came up and said, I need 30 instructors. And we had a staff of 35. And that was, we were supposed to run the school with 30 instructors in the OHG and five instructors for the rest of the operation, including privates, lessons, and every program that was going on. And we laughed and somehow, magically, we pulled it off. In 1986, Copper Mountain purchased the rights to the Over the Hill Gang, making it a division of the Copper Ski School. The program's membership grew to over 700 skiers, with a waiting list of 500 very enthusiastic seniors. The OHG became much more than just a ski program. The gang had their own year-round social calendar in order to maintain the camaraderie of the members and guides in the off-season. They also became a contributor to other operations at Copper Mountain, supporting the restaurants, real estate, and endorsing the ski school by bringing family and friends to the resort. They developed logos, ski wear, and patches to identify themselves, Copper Mountain, and the OHG program. Mo and the other founders of the Over the Hill Gang quickly realized that not only did they need to engage the skiers on the slope, but they needed to keep them going and engaging them in the summertime. And so through a, a series of social activities, hikes, skiing, and, and then after ski uh, fun, he's been able to keep people together, giving them a network that they can relate to, and then giving them a, a tool, the Over the Hill Gang, so that when they wanted to do something, all they had to show up was, uh, all they had to do was show up on Over the Hill Gang Day. No single individual did more to stimulate, encourage, endorse, and participate in the Over the Hill Gang than Mo Mosley. He became the historian of past events and personalities while maintaining a love and commitment to the OHG. Through OHG, Mo has been a continual supporter of skiing for those of us in our senior years. It is safe to conclude that he has done more for the advancement of seniors in skiing than any one individual. He epitomizes through his actions over the past 40 years the enthusiasm of the senior skier and their contribution to the continuity of the sport for family and friends. The Over the Hill Gang is a remarkable organization because many people who are intermediate skiers and never thought they'd be skiing late in their lives didn't realize 
that they could learn so much and become better skiers at advanced years. The ski instructors that were part of the OHG helped a lot of people become excellent skiers. Not only that, but OHG became a social organization where people played together, made lifelong friendships, and had a, a lifelong commitment to each other because they shared a common interest, senior skiing. It is important to note that Moe did all of this while maintaining a full-time career as an account executive for two major insurance carriers prior to joining an international consulting actuarial firm. He also served as the Director of Safety and Industrial Relations for a multiple state highway heavy construction and mining firm. In December of 2015, he received a commendation letter from Governor Hickenlooper congratulating him on 24 years of service on the Premium Cost Containment Board. In addition, Mo did not miss a single scheduled day of work for the Copper Mountain Ski School from 1974 until his final service in 2010. Mo, I want to congratulate you for being inducted into the Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Fame. No one deserves this recognition more than you. I cherish the idea of so many of your friends that I know that speak so highly of you. They can't stop saying wonderful things about you, and so they should. You deserve this honor. You are absolutely the best. Mo, this is your night, and thanks to you for all you've done to keep more and more and more baby boomers on the hill. It's all about you, Mo. It's about your hard work, your vision, your love, your perfect personality. We want to just congratulate you, Mo. You've earned it, and way to go, Mo. We are proud to welcome Mo Mosley to the Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Fame this evening as the pioneer member of the class of 2018.